Hi there and welcome back to my channel where today we'll be going through nine of the most common English words pronounced wrong from my experience as an English teacher abroad and here they are. Now the first word on the list is the word crisps. This gets pronounced many times as crips. The SPS needing some practice in order to pronounce it correctly. This in a sentence would be I'm hungry, I fancy some crisps. Now the second word on the list is the word clothes with a th. This gets pronounced many times without the th, in fact clothes, but it's clothes. An example of this would be, I'm going to wash the clothes. The third on the list today is the word salmon. Now this often gets pronounced with the l, so salmon, but it should be salmon. An example of this in a sentence would be, let's have some salmon for dinner. The fourth word on the list is the word beach. Now I'm sure everyone is aware of what the word could sound like if mispronounced, but it's in fact beach. For example, let's go to the beach. The fifth word on the list is the word chocolate. Chocolate. This gets pronounced many times as chocolate, but in fact, it misses out the middle syllable. An example of this would be, ah, forget my diet, I want some chocolate. The sixth word on the list is the word singer. Singer. I've heard this spoken many times with the G being quite strong, so singer, but in fact, it's singer. She's a great singer. The seventh word on the list is regime. Regime. Now I've heard this pronounced many ways, regime or regime, when in fact it's a soft sound as regime. For example, I want to begin this new regime. Eighth on the list today is one that native speakers still make the mistake for, and this is the word library. Now the first R often gets forgotten in library, but in fact it's library. For example, I'm going to the library to study. The final word on the list today is the word soldier. Now this doesn't come up as much as you can imagine, but when I do hear it, this is soldier, when in fact it should be soldier. For example, we need more soldiers. And that's all. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to give it a like and subscribe. I'd love to hear your own comments on any words in English that you struggle to pronounce. And as always, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.